Hi guys, it's Matthew, and welcome back to another episode of 90 Second Arduino Tutorials. For today's tutorial, we're going to be controlling an ultrasonic sensor and making it work and control two DC motors using the L298N motor bridge. So what you will need for this project is a breadboard, an ultrasonic sensor, quite a few wires, like two, hand, two, hand for, two handfuls of wires, an Arduino board, an L298 in motor bridge, and two DC motors along with a 9 volt battery. So what you so how, first for the wiring, I have two videos set up, one for an ultrasonic sensor and one for the L298 in motor bridge. And these videos will explain the wiring more in depth. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm combining it on the Arduino board. So just an overview, to have two digital pins on the ultrasonic sensor, both in the middle that go on the Arduino board, any pins of your liking, and then a power here in red on our right, and then ground on the left, right there. So then for our L298 in motor bridge, you're gonna have a little block of wires right here, and all these wires are gonna go into digital pins on your Arduino board, and the far one's gonna be your ground and then you're going to need to hook up a 9 volt battery to control this board as an external power source. Okay, so now moving on to our code, more important thing. We first have to include all our variables for the ultrasonic sensor, which is echo and trig, so we picked pin 7. Then ENA and EMB are both speed variables for our L298 and motor bridge. And then we have all these inputs here, which are for the motors connected to the motor bridge, the DC motors. For our setup, we first need to have the serial monitor of 9600, the bond, and then we need to set our inputs and outputs for our, our variables for the ultrasonic sensor and for the l 298 n motor bridge. And then for our loop here, we're going to have to create a pulse with the ultrasonic sensor. So we're going to put a float variable a called same, and then int pulse, another variable. We're going to have digital right trig low, microseconds 20, digital right trig high, delay microseconds 100 and then digital right trig low and that's going to create a pulsing motion, motion for the ultrasonic sensor and then pulse equals pulsing echo high that's going to create a timer when echo is high so when it's receiving power so moving on to our second block of code here seni equals pulse divided by 29.387 divided by 2 what that does is it converts the timeage of the pulse into centimeters. So serial.println seni, that's going to show up on the serial monitor for reference, and then delay 200, so 0.2 seconds. And then for our if statements here, we're going to have if seni is equal to 5 or is um, bigger than, or is smaller than 5, sorry, then we're going to have digital right in one high, and then all these are going to be low, so only one motor will go. This can be useful for controlling a robot or any. Um, when you have to turn something with an ultrasonic sensor, so then delay two seconds, and then we're gonna have else analog right EMB60 set the speed variable to 60 of the motors, and then digital right high, digital right low, and another speed variable. So that's gonna make both motors go at speed 60, which as we chose here, and the else is basically saying if this is not true, then do this. So that's the code here to make the ultrasonic sensor control the DC motors. Okay. So, I'm going to plug it in, and you can see how this works. So both motors are going right now, and then if I put my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor, so there's an object less than 5 centimeters in front of it, only one motor goes, as we chose there. And then they both start going again. Only one motor goes, and then they both start going again. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video, a bit of a longer video today. Subscribe, comment, like, and see you in the next video. Thank you.